spokesperson from Instagram told The Verge that they have now begun to store and display images at 1080 by 1080 pixels on the photo sharing app. They're rolling out the new feature to iOS and Android, and you probably already have it, but there are no plans to roll out on the web anytime soon. This doesn't sound like much, but the smaller image size is one, only one of the many features the Facebook-owned company has been stubborn about changing. Harry McCracken, technology editor at Fast Company, recently profiled Instagram from an engineering perspective, and Harry is here today to discuss this story. Welcome, Harry. Hey, Megan. It's great to be here. Thanks for coming on. Were you surprised by this announcement today? You know... You would have thought like for several years that Instagram might do something like this because there's so much value in doing higher resolution. But when I did my story, they, they told me that their strategy is never to take the most ambitious approach to stuff right away, but rather to, to do things simply and add on functionality as they need it. So from that perspective, it's completely logical that they would take their time on doing something like this. So give us a brief history of the company for those who are unfamiliar with their story. Well, when they started a few years ago, it was just two guys, Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger, the founders, and they did all the engineering. They didn't even have all that much of a formal background in computer science. So they had to do things really simply. And then, you know, it's still kind of the best example of a company that was instantly a blockbuster hit, which meant that Kevin Systrom had to focus on the business. And so it was just Mike Krieger doing engineering. And uh, that really forced them into a mode of, of doing things in a straightforward fashion. And then, of course, they were bought by Facebook, and they got a lot more resources. But they decided to continue with the strategy of, of taking the simple approach to things. And even today, now that they have almost 100 engineers, they kind of you know, don't overspec things or do things in an overly ambitious fashion until they really need to do it. Well, you say that Krieger uh, like would watch videos about engineering problems as the problems would come up. You know, he would just find a video and, and learn how exactly. to do things that way and solve the problem as they come up, which, which is so interesting. Uh, what are some of the reasons that Instagram was so popular so quickly? You know, I think everybody kind of thought that photo sharing was a problem that had been solved already because there were already a lot of apps doing that. But Instagram was just so simple so straightforward, uh, it required the fewest number of taps. Again, it didn't have the most features by any stretch of the imagination, but it made it very inviting. And they've tried to make that emphasis on simplicity something that, that's more than, than skin deep. And it also really influences the way they build functionality. So you know, as they grew, uh, what were some of the challenges that they faced, from, especially from growing so fast? You know, I think the biggest one was that they went from just having a few users to having hundreds of millions of users. And my assumption was that must have meant that at some point they, they threw out their original code built by two guys and put in something a lot more robust. And Mike Krieger told me that wasn't the case at all. And in fact, to this day, they will find code in there that Kevin Systrom wrote at, at the very start. Um, so remarkably, even though they've had to scale up so much, um, the strategy of not getting too ambitious too quickly has, has continued to serve them well. And I can't think of any examples, at least famous ones, of Instagram going down or, or failing to do what it's supposed to do in a, in a quick fashion. And it's interesting because, I mean, now photo sharing is easy. I mean, there are a lot of ways. You know, Google Photos, it's, it's, it's so simple to share photos. It's easy to share photos in Facebook without using Instagram, but they're still so popular, even though, I mean, people just, they like it. And it's, it's I guess it's still the most simple way to use. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, probably their biggest competitor is Facebook, which is uh, the other big way that people share photos. So when, once you um, get entrenched, you really have a, a big advantage, and it's continued to serve them well. When Facebook bought Instagram, they paid a billion dollars, which at the time people thought was insane. And in retrospect, it was probably an insanely low price to pay. And Facebook has done a really good job of continuing to let Instagram be Instagram and not feel like it's something that got swallowed up by a colossus.